touch a gun. When people touch them, they sometimes explode. That might make somebody a bonehead. Bonehead! Hi there, how's it going? It's me, Cowboy Slim. This is uh, Cowboy Who Show. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me one more show, and thanks a lot for sending all those letters and videotapes, too. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Want to point out, though, still didn't get a T-shirt. Anyone down there got a T-shirt? Please send it to me. I mentioned it before, it's like my only T-shirt, and uh, I just don't like being around myself so much anymore, if you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, let me just uh, reach into the old box of mail, see what I can uh, come up with. Uh, I always get some interesting things. Oh, here's another alien letter. Um, I can't really read the name. Uh, it says, uh, Howdy, Cowboy Slim. I'm an alien from Mars. I usually sit on my air chair, or if my silly brother puts a whoopee cushion on it. I love Mars. I have broccoli and spinach for my dinner. Man, I haven't had broccoli or spinach in a long time. Uh, some other aliens from Mars think that this is really weird. Do you know my brother? I hope not, because if you have a favorite chair, watch out, because he can always buy another whoopee cushion. Well, uh, can I ask you a big favor? If you see your brother, just ask him not to bug me like that, okay? Because, you know... I really don't like whoopee cushions, okay? Uh, here, let me just uh, hold up the letter because uh, my little friend here has done lots of artwork and stuff and uh, worth uh, showing to everybody. Uh, also worth showing to everybody are all those uh, wacko videotapes that uh, all of you viewers at home have been sending in. And uh, yeah, we got a pretty good stack of them uh, for today's show. So uh, let, me just, let me just pick one out and... Uh, get the glasses these glasses by the way these are like this is what keeps me going up here in outer space these are the things you can see through these all right now let's just get the scanner out and see what uh, see what's on these things yeah, just yeah you just find out what station find out you know the address of the station is showing this they they seem to be able to manage to get them to I'm just read a letter, okay? A good thing to do with them, since I have a whole box full. Uh, here's a lot of artwork on this one. It says, Howdy, Cowboy Slim. Hi, Cowboy Slim. Well, hi, both times. Uh, I'm not your average person. I'm an alien from the planet Rakazod. And I would like to ask a few questions. What are those big things they shoot from a small place that I sit on? Or what is that thing that sits beside Trevor? Well, that's all I would like to ask. Alien friend, Jeffrey. Well, Jeffrey, first of all, let me say that uh, it's pretty much a game for an alien, so it's very much a good name. Second of all, you sure did a lot of work with these illustrations. And now, as far as those answers to those uh, questions, I really couldn't begin to tell you what that thing is sitting beside Trevor. Hello, Slim. Let's talk about safety. Now, we here at the Let's Talk About Safety Council have noted that your program is not particularly safe. In fact, you regularly advocate to your young viewers some extremely dangerous ideas. Like. 
Hi there, uh, welcome back. Uh, time in the show now, we're gonna go watch Dee Dee and Dwilfer. Uh, I was kind of looking forward to this. Uh, kind of hoping to see that Gherkin character again. Uh, I don't know, it's just something. You know what he reminds me of? O'Reilly. Remember Inspector O'Reilly? I don't know what it is. Uh, anyway, let me just get the uh, receptor glasses on, uh, turn on the tuner, see if I can pick it up. Hello children and welcome again to our program where we talk all about my home, the planet Earth. Now I have a wonderful wish. Shall I tell you what it is? My wish is for everyone in this wonderful universe of ours to learn more about the planet Earth and the ways of the Earth and so become more like me. Now I know you can do it. Now today's program we will have the theme of nutrition as well as the food that we eat. Now nutrition is very important. It's important to eat food that's good for you, not just food that's good to eat. But before we talk about nutrition, let's call upon our good friend Dwilfer. Now Dwilfer is an alien, just like some of you. And he's going to tell us all about the strange and wonderful things in his alien land. Why don't you help me call him? You ready? Dwilfer? Dwilfer! Oh. Good morning, Dwilfer. Oh, hi, Dee Dee. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine. Uh, what's that you've got on your face? Where? Where? Oh, oh here. Oh, oh I, I just had Donic Digesto. Donic yeah, yeah. Digesto? Must, that must what's be what's left over. Donic on, Digesto? On yeah, oh, oh, well, let me check my translator for you. Yeah, um, I, uh, you call it breakfast. Breakfast? Yeah. You've just had breakfast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well... Isn't that a coincidence? Since today's topic is nutrition and oh. the food that we eat, really? Dwilfer's little uh, introduction has been quite convenient. Oh, so wow. why don't you tell us, Dwilfer, what kind of food do you eat on this planet of yours? Well, well, this morning I had a cheese omelette. A cheese omelette? Yeah. Well, that's a very fine breakfast, very healthy as well. Mm. I thought that up here you'd eat some sort of chemical concocted something or other, but oh. I never realized you would have such good food as omelets. Oh, oh yeah, well, we copied most of Earth's recipes for food. Yeah, we watch all those really good cooking shows. Right. Anyway, oh, I could get you anything you want. Uh, would you like me to get you a cheese omelet? Why? Yes, actually, I think I would enjoy a cheese omelet. Oh, okay, well... And that well, will give you, all the viewers at home, a chance to see what exactly the food is like in this planet of ours. Yeah, well, well do you want it with cheese or with real cheese? Uh, well, what's the difference? Well, cheese is cheese and real cheese is real cheese. But I don't understand. What's real cheese, then? Well, real cheese is really cheese. It's probably what you think of when you're thinking of cheese. All right. Well, then, what's cheese? Well, nobody really knows for sure. It's some sort of chemical thing. You know, it looks like real cheese, smells, well, kind of like real cheese, but it has a sort of chemical-y taste to it. Well, then, if it's not cheese, why do you call it cheese? Well, the company that makes it bought the word cheese. They bought a word? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a little confusing? No, 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 not at all. We get used to it. You know, it's not just cheese, either. It, it's meat, carrot, potatoes, apples. Yeah, it, we got lots of food up here that's really something else. They just use food names. Oh, how utterly strange. Oh, uh, so do you want uh, cheese or real cheese with your omelet? Uh, well, actually, uh, my appetite is somewhat dampened since this conversation began. Mm. So I think I'll pass on that omelet for now. But probably just as well. I don't think you want to know where the eggs came from. No. Mm. No, I probably don't. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dwilfer. Oh, you're welcome. Usually you get mad at me when I do stuff like this. Well, actually, no. Um, that's because, well, I usually get mad because he usually interrupts the program, but actually, Dwilfer's digression Digestion? Was... Yeah, I just had breakfast, so I'm digesting food right now. No, not digestion, what? Dwilfer. Digression. Oh. Well, digression is when you start to wander off the topic or the theme that you're talking about. Oh, I do that just very to... well. well. Yes, you do, but... Mm. 
Well, I digress. Um, as I was saying, Ed Wilfer helped us uh, er, out earlier by mentioning food. Since yeah. today's program mm -hmm. is about nutrition, let's go now to um, a, a segment called Time for Talks. Oh, oh good. And uh, we'll come back afterwards and talk about nutrition. Okay. Time for Talks. Okay. Hi, kids. Uh, Dee Dee. Uh, thinks maybe I'm scaring some of you, you know? And uh, she thinks maybe I should be a bit more intimate with you. So uh, she suggested that I, that I do a story from my uh, childhood. Anyways, I came up with this story. I was just I was thinking about it the other day. And uh, this is when I lived with my original family before I, well, before I had the run-in with the authorities. And uh, anyways, it's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a fun story. Um, his friend and I used to go down to these uh, shipyards, and uh, we used to slash the bottom out of these big cargo containers. And uh, anyways, the next day, like the operators would come along, and they'd lift the cargo containers up on these big cranes, and all the freight would fall out on top of them. It was pretty funny. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, one day we were down there. It was, it was actually it was pretty late at night, and uh, and this giant cargo container came loose. It just came ripping down this ramp. And I turned around, like my friend's right there, you know, and, but I mean, I didn't really have time to warn him. So I just started running and this giant iron crate doing about 100 miles an hour just tore the back of my shoes like right off. And uh, my, my friend was behind me and I, I don't know what happened to him because um, <laughs> I don't know, I, I haven't talked to him in a long time. <laughs> I thought that was pretty intimate. Ooh. Well, Mac, that obviously wasn't the answer either, was it? But no grim. worries, we'll just Real keep grim. on trying, won't we? Now we'll continue on in our program with the discussion of nutrition. And mm. I'd like to thank Dwilfer for bringing up that argument about real cheese versus cheese in oh, the omelet. You're welcome. This serves to illustrate a very important point about avoiding the pitfalls of good nutrition. Spitfalls? People eat spitballs? No, drill for pitfalls, oh. not spitballs. Sorry. At any rate, mm. let's go now to the planet Earth and find out what the children there think about good nutrition. Oh, okay. A cat, a dog, and birds. <laughs> cat, no. rabbit, porcupine, and skunk. Squirrel, bird, and deer. Dogs. Dogs. And ducks. Dogs, cats, and birds. So. Monkey. <laughs> Chimpanzee. Sometimes crabs. What about crabs, crayfish? Not crabs. Not crabs, not crabs. Frog. I had a crab. Frog. Frog. Yeah, frog. I had a crab once. He went. Hamsters. Bullfrogs. Mice. Mice. Gerbils. Mice. Mice. Gerbils. Mice. 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 Bullfrogs Mice. that hate Hamsters. each other. Hamsters. Rats. Fish. Elephants. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was very interesting. Mm hmm. And now to hear more about the importance of good nutrition, mm. let's go to Gilbert, the educated fish. Oh, oh hey, you, you, eat, you eat fish on Earth, don't you? Yes, we eat fish on Earth. And, and fish are nutritious? Yes, fish is very nutritious. But wait a minute, we what? are not going to eat Gilbert. Why not? Because Gilbert is a friend. He's Gilbert so? the educated fish. So? He's nutritious. Dwarfer, we are not going to eat Gilbert, mm. we're going to consult Too Gilbert anyway. now about the uh, scientific implications of good nutrition. But first, let me find him on our microscope because Gilbert's very small. Well, maybe we could get a whole bunch of them and, and eat them like popcorn. Dwilfer! What? Ah, Can you find him? There he is. Here, you take a look. Nutrition? Good food that's easy. Watch. When I eat this little fish, well, let's just say that I ate that little fish. He would have gone into my body and been transformed into energy. Now, we can think of our bodies like 
their cars. And the food that we eat is like the gas for that car. Now, in order to get what we desire, we must enslave the planet. We must selfishly and ruthlessly strip all that is alive and all that is natural from this earth and consume it and consume it and corrupt. And that is what nutrition is all about. Ooh, so that's what nutrition is. <sighs> well, no, not exactly. It seems that Gilbert the Educated Fish began to talk about something altogether different. Quite simply, good nutrition is food that is good for you, not necessarily food that is good to eat or oh, tastes hey, good hey, to eat. Hey, speaking of food that tastes good, let's listen to the music box. Wait a minute, what do you mean food that tastes good to eat? You haven't eaten her, have you? Oh, no, she's fine. I just wanted to change the subject. <sighs> well, you certainly managed to do that quite effectively. Mm. I thought you'd taken your mistreatment with, with the poor music box It's too just far. a toy. It is not just a toy. Mm. You're never careful with her. You mean you mistreat that poor, Well, I'll be fragile, careful with it. human being. I'll you're, be careful. Dwilfer, you're never careful well, with Well, I've that. never broken it. No, well, not yet, but that remains to be seen, doesn't so it? So can we listen to no. it? Please? No. Please? No. no. Please? How long are you Please? going to go on like this? I'm going to go on like this until you say yes. yes Please? you probably would, wouldn't you? Oh, Please? all right, fine, fine. Oh. But you must be gentle. You must not hit it or bang it or kick it or drop oh, okay, it or do okay, anything okay. untoward that might jeopardize all right, the All right, all right. Can I go get it? Yes, run okay, along, get it. Okay, I got, I got it right here. Honestly, it, it, well, he does love that yeah. music box, doesn't he? Now, be careful, remember what all right, he all right, all right, all right. Okay, can we say the magic words? Yes, fine. Right. Music box, box music, music box, box, sing us a song. Not too short and not too extensive. What? Extensive? Yeah. But it, I thought it was lengthy. Oh, no, I changed it. You wanted me to change but it. But I wanted you to change it to long because lengthy Shh, doesn't quiet. rhyme. Extensive I want to listen. doesn't rhyme. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the music box. I understand Dee Dee's talking about nutrition. So the song today will have something to do with food. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my ball rolled out of the door. It rolled in the garden. What on earth's going on? My box won't stop moving. Dwilfer? Dwilfer, what on earth are you doing? Well, uh, I'm eating my music box. Eating the music box? Yeah. How on earth could you be so callous as to eat a, a small, tiny, fragile little creature? What? No, no, no. I, I don't want to eat the thing inside. No, they taste really awful. I just want to eat the box. Eat the box? <laughs> oh, you no good, lousy home wrecker. Oh, how could you? That's just... All right, well, I won't eat it anymore. Can we listen to it again? Listen music to it again. Box, music no, box. No, Sing us a song. To it again. You can't not too to short it. and not it? too extensive. Hi there, we're back. Uh, and that Didi and Dwilfer episode about uh, all that talk about food and nutrition, you know. Made me a little bit hungry, but, uh, well, I'm not just going to abandon you. Don't worry about that. Uh, but I would like to just sort of whip right through this and then see what I can find to eat around here. So uh, it's at this time in the show that uh, I get the tuner all fired up, get the receptor glasses on, and then we, uh, we just sort of buzz around and see what shows there are to watch. No! 
Television. You know, that kind of that kind of stuff. So uh you bear with me now. I'm just gonna fire this thing up and uh get things underway. And it was then I was fired upon by the evil hideous creature from outer space. and hire myself. If only you had a stitch of common sense. Mm. And so, oh, that's her. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's pretty, oh, Kate. <laughs> Miss Jezebel, you're so pretty. I was just telling Mumsy here how I'm going to get a job. Oh, that's an excellent idea, and I know a position at that is dynamite business. Dynamite? Oh, that is. Oh, wouldn't that be dangerous? I'll write that letter today. Well, he didn't get that job. Uh, he didn't address the envelope properly. And I see that your girlfriend is now dating the guy that did get the job. And that's what I just don't understand. How could a bonehead like you have such a gorgeous sister? Hmm, cool your jets, Romeo. Oh, well, yeah, right. Dick here works at the post office. He knows all about the mail. Uh, Frank, do you know anything about the mail? Uh -uh. Well, why don't you come down to the office? Are you kidding? Yes, Tom. Why not, chicken? Uh, you aren't going to shoot up the place, are you? Uh, babe, oh, what? I'm having fun. Mm. Oh. oh, I don't want to hurt you, Frank, but he's so handsome and good with dynamite. I bet he can lick a stamp. Yes, but mm. he knows how to post something. That's very attractive in a man. Here he comes. Want to fool around? Uh, yes. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Return to sender. Address. That's Hi. a very unattractive hat. <laughs> now this way for the look of the place. Great. Now here's where packages are uh, damaged and uh, their address obscured. Uh, here's our new machine, an electric sorter that mixes them up pretty good and checks uh, for money. Good idea. Sometimes we'll uh, blow a package up or uh, stick dead birds into it. Wow. Uh, mostly what we do is just writing on top of addresses, make them hard to read. You know, uh, we write the credits to a kid's show, for example. That's all very confusing. I don't understand. Well, we figure you got to know how to treat the right people right if you want to get your mail through. Uh, oh, I see. What do you want to send? A dynamite with a burning fuse. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, um, I I figure a hundred bucks. Oh, good. How's that? No sound? problem. All right, everybody. I own this building now, and you're all evicted. Whoop. Hey, hey! No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Yes, sir. Uh -huh.